in what's being hailed a scientific tour de force, American researchers have succeeded in creating human pig chimera embryos with the ultimate goal of one day growing human organs and animals for transplant. So far, none of the interspecies embryos have been allowed to grow beyond four weeks. However, the experiments are raising profoundly sticky moral and ethical issues including the remote but not impossible risk human cells intended to morph into a new liver pancreas or heart could wind their way up to the animal's brain. Could that part human chimera somehow develop human consciousness? The more human-like we make living organisms the more valuable for research purposes they become, says Timothy Caulfield, Canada Research Chair in Health Law and Policy. But of course the more we humanize an animal, the more we raise questions about animal ethics he said. The work also provokes a kind of psychological and visceral creepiness. The first concern is public perception, does it violate some notion of boundaries, or the natural order of things, says renowned bioethicist Arthur Kaplan. You're going to have to watch carefully what is happening during the course of development, and be ready to shut down something that looks like it's an unintentional outcome, he said meaning a pig embryo with any kind of human feature. The successful creation of pig-human chimeras is described in this week's issue of the scientific journal Cell. According to the article, researchers at the Salk Institute for Biological Studies in La Jolla, California, injected different forms of human stem cells into pig embryos. Stem cells have the ability to transform into virtually any other type of cell in the body, allowing them in theory to regenerate damaged or diseased tissue. Next, 41 surrogate sows received between 30 to 50 of the hybrid human pig embryos each, resulting in 18 pregnancies. After 21 to 28 days, 186 embryos were harvested. Half of them were abnormally small. However, a few dozen were normal size, said co-author and Salk scientist Jun Wu in an interview. And in some of them, we observed human cells were there. Not only did the human cells survive, they turned into the progenitors for many different tissues and organs, Wu said. This is man trying to play God, they must repent. Please comment below and share this news. And feel free to sign up now for the News Exposed newsletter to get breaking exposed news, and more, delivered straight to your inbox. It's News Exposed signing off. Please comment below and share this news. And feel free to sign up now for the News Exposed newsletter to get breaking exposed news, and more, delivered straight to your inbox. It's News Exposed signing off.